banks require confidence in order to operate. And so they need the public to be confident in their stability, that they're making the right decisions, um, and that they're going to be around tomorrow and a year from now and 20 years from now. So in a sense, there's a, a collusion between the public, between government, and between banks to make sure that they're operating the way they should. Um, and if it seems that banks are crisis prone, uh, then I think banks as well as the public and governments have uh, sort of mutual interest in, in changing the, the, the regulatory environment to make sure that they're more stable. I think the, the fate of banks is really dependent on a mix of things. Uh, so one of them is certainly the context in which they're operating and who their competitors are, um, what the, the profit maximizing uh, incentives are for banks uh, based on that context. Um, but another important aspect is what governments are doing and what regulators are doing. And so in our research, we're also looking at regulatory structures, not just the content of regulation, but who regulates, um, who the regulators are. Are they separate standalone bank regulators? Are they central banks? Um, what basically is the bureaucracy that's in place, uh, set up by governments to oversee the banking system? So banks are going to take on risk regardless of whatever policies are in place, and regardless of the, the context in which they operate. Um, and it's unlikely that policymakers would be able to uh, change the real structure of financial markets in a substantial way uh, to alter the possibility of a crisis. But I think there are things that, that regulators can do, given awareness of what the incentives might be for banks, given the context. So it might be, for example, that regulators in banking systems where there are larger uh, non-bank financial markets, stock markets and so on, that they might be more aware of the types of risks that banks could take on as a result of those pressures and could implement policies to make sure that they, that they don't take on as much risk. There's, there's often inertia with regulation um, where uh, either regulation stays stagnant over time as risks begin to develop uh, in the system uh, or even that regulations start to erode uh, as the, as the system becomes more stable and people don't think that there's any problem that needs to be fixed. And then when a crisis happens, there's usually a window of opportunity to change the regulatory environment, to change the activities that, that financial actors are engaging in. I think that window is starting to close. Um, as the economy starts to grow, unemployment falls, uh, our 401k balances are increasing. So as this window starts to close, um, I think we have a kind of last attempt potentially in the next year or two to institute whatever new rules might be necessary to make the financial system more stable.